Hey, good morning and welcome to another edition of the Patriot Radio News Hour. I'm Eric Cedarstrom, and we're rocking and firing from the Hole in the Ceiling Studios in Deer Valley, Arizona, on this last day of March 2020, the year of our Lord. And, uh, man, I hope you're all doing okay. You know, I've been told I've been able to captivate audience audiences, but now I actually have a captive audience. And I know you're all looking at each other and you're stuck with your spouses and you're hiding or wherever you are listening to this show. Just remember you're not alone. You're not alone. Thanks for tuning in today. We really appreciate it. This show brought to you by the Patriot Trading Group. Hard assets, legal, lawful, constitutional tender. You can reach us at 1-800-951-0592. I am risking life and limb, but I'm glad to be here. 60 years old at the beginning of the target coronavirus uh, age. So also, you can find us at allamericangold.com, 24 hours a day, 365. You can go to 1360khnc.com and listen there. You can go out to YouTube and punch in uh, Patriot Radio News Hour and get on our YouTube site, and you can listen to these shows, podcast all over the world. And thank you very much. Everybody, remain calm. I feel like Kevin Bacon in Animal House standing there going, remain calm. <laughs> Got Joe Jaquin over here, president, CEO, nephew, family. And uh, him and I are riding together once again, and I am grateful for for the job. Thank you, Joe. I'm happy, happy to have you. Great, great to have you back. And, of course, I like I said, you know what? This is why uh, the Patriot Trading Group is the best in the business. When I go to the bench... I take a guy out of retirement that's been in this business. He's seen everything for decades and decades. You know, we're here 24 years uh, without a complaint ever. There's a lot of other gold companies that got the name Patriot on it. That's not us, right? They they, they They got got some patriotic name, you know. But but they're not Liberty, Republic, I mean, they all got them. But we're the originals. We are the originals. Uh, Metals plans, I've got an update. I know a lot of you were worried uh, supplies are tough to come by. Uh, we, we're going to be just fine. So metals plans are going to start going out next week. Uh, I bought, uh, because again, because we've been around for so long, there was a hundred one tenth ounce American gold eagles that were out in the world yesterday. They are now owned. 2020s. Yeah, 2020. They just came out, like the last shipment out of the mint before they closed. Now owned by us, so there they're are gone. no more. But they're, they're, uh, they're, anyway, we've got it handled. Uh, everybody's going to be shipped, uh, their metals plans, and shipping will start next week just for an update. Uh, the governor, obviously, Arizona Governor Ducey, we've gone into the lockdown for esen- except for essential personnel. We qualify as essential personnel, both as Patriot and as the owners of the radio station. So we win two ways. Uh, we are going to ask. That I know a lot of you like to come in and pick up product. Uh, We want that to be very, very limited. Uh, For the foreseeable future, we will no longer charge shipping. For all orders starting today, uh, we will eat the shipping cost to get... uh, to help people not have to, you know, spread the virus or potentially infect somebody. Uh, If you absolutely, positively have to come in, come in by yourself. Uh, Don't bring your family members. Don't bring, you know, grandma. Don't bring the, you know, your daughter, your son, whatever. Just, Just come in by yourself. Everything by appointment only. And we'll try to, we want to have everything ready for you. So if you do have to come in, it's quick. You're not here very long. We'll get you in. We'll get you out. But otherwise, until further notice, uh, Patriot Trading Group is going to institute a free shipping policy. There you have it. So, well, the shipping departments are running. The post office is running. They're supposed to go bankrupt this summer. Yeah, they need to. Did you know that? Yeah. So they need money, but they're getting it. So here in Arizona. Which, remember, a lot of this, the numbers still don't substantiate the reaction. They still don't. And I'm not downplaying it all. I mean, there's, you know, the, I watched the president Sunday night. I talked about it ad infinitum yesterday. I mean, I was reading between the lines. I'm, I'm a pretty fair poker player. Not as good as Joe, but, but I was watching him, and 
you know, the, the number, if they if we just wrote it out, the, the, the death number was 2 million. So it kept coming up. They kept saying that. So, so I didn't say U.S. or worldwide. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't pontificate on anything more. But, but so now they want to shut everything down. Now here in Arizona, we've all seen the images from California where the 405 empty, empty. Um, you know, I, I don't know who's gonna who's gonna go look over there. I don't know if they're the, real the, or the not. The economic but. ramifications of this, Eric, is going to be massive. But here in Arizona, the the governor. You know, and a lot of this is political. So, and here's the win-win situation. The golf courses are still open. Well, it's essential. The here. lakes are still open. Yes. The campgrounds around the lakes are still open. Does that make any sense? It doesn't. But it's just a different world we live in. We're not all piled up on top of each other as they are in certain parts of the world. So, so I don't know. As they say, the president said, if you missed it, at the, the hour and a half Sunday night press conference that, that they're expecting the cases to peak in the United States right around Easter. Second week. Second week of April, they figure, is going to be the peak. This is how fast the pandemic's going to explode. So, now, either way, you understand this is a no-win situation. You can fight it. You can say, well, the numbers don't substantiate it. You can say this is a government takeover. This is a test of the emergency shutdown system, a test of how they can uh, just electronic everything and put us all out i don't know you can right. fight it right it's, a, it's just a flu it's but it's happening right. but it's right but it's a self-fulfilling prophecy and it is happening and you, it's a win-win for them because if if the cases don't explode they go see we shut it down and if they do explode they're going well good thing we shut it down patriot radio news hour we'll be back you're listening to the patriot radio news hour quarter century of getting out the news deal one 800 9 Five one zero five nine two. The executive order came down here in Arizona, and they exempted a lot of businesses. Obviously, healthcare and everything that goes with it, human services, um, long-term care facilities, essential infrastructure. You know, food production, distribution, power generation, et cetera, et cetera. Essential government functions. Uh, just about anything. They're working on the roads. I noticed. So you know why traffic's light. Essential business operations, not limited to health care, public health, human services, et cetera, et cetera. And then food, beverage, and agriculture, food and beverage manufacturing, production, processing, and cultivation, marketing, all the food. Outdoor recreation activities. Any outdoor recreation area, park, site, or trail that provides opportunity for outdoor recreation with social distancing, such as walking, hiking, biking, and includes golf courses, if there is restrictions on food and beverage under Executive Order 2020-09. Uh, charitable organizations open. Media, newspaper, television, radio is open. Gas stations are open. Financial institutions, bank, currency exchanges, consumer lenders, obviously, payday lenders, financial markets, gold and silver companies. Uh, critical trades, which is interesting. All the college degreed people are at home and all the trades are running. Right, the plumbers, the electricians. They're busy, the AC too. guys. People are working on their houses while they're at home. I mean, you know, this was, this is what the conundrum is here. Leading into this, I mean, granted, there were some cracks in the economy showing. You had a lot of issues that were starting to show up. But for the most part, people's credit lines were not all hammered. And they're getting that way now. So the credit cards are running. But the college degree people are at home and... Uh, the trades are working. I mean, it's amazing. So I want to say hi to Dale, just ordered in Mesa. Thank you. And uh, and a farmer, a farmer, Trevor, if you're listening, in Iowa, uh, call, called me from his tractor. He was out in the he field. He was out on the combine. You talk about multitasking. He's plowing up or disking or whatever he was doing to his field and ordered a, 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 a peck of product. So... Thank you so much. We appreciate it. We're extremely busy. The product now with Wall Street calming down. They've got their finger on the button here, and everyone's like, well, how come gold and silver aren't exploding? If you go back to what I told you, you're going to see this. This is normal. You're going to get this delayed reaction. And also, also Joe brought up something during the break. You know, if we're supposed to hit this uh, this this peak disaster, this this the peak COVID, which COVID, you know, you know what COVID stands for? No. What it was supposed to be? And what's happening, the disease is mutating from coronavirus, you don't hear that term nearly as much, to COVID-19. Now, they're denying it, but it's supposed to. It was original, the COV, 
ID number 19. COV stands for Chinese Originated Virus. So that's COV ID number 19. Because there's been a lot of Chinese. So this is the 19th virus. But now, I, apparently you're not supposed to say that, and they're debunking this myth. But what the hell else can it stand for, right? So it came out of China. Nobody's, you know, arguing that fact anymore. So not that it would do any good. But um, so anyway, this... This is where we're at today. It's it's crazy what's happening here in this world, but we're going to see. Now they're talking about another two trillion dollars. Now, yeah, so number now they're they're numbering the stimulus. Right, this now. will be stimulus stimulus four. Stim, not COVID. Yeah, yeah. We're call them stimulus st- four. Stimulus four is Which, now another two trillion. Well, it's or more. early. Early, yeah. So early number is another two trillion. So let's go through the stimulus. Stimulus one was a little one. It was uh, eight and a half billion dollars, and that was for you know research and you know we're supposed to be supposed to be getting ready for for COVID nineteen to to make the jump to the United States. Stimulus two, that was a hundred billion dollars, I believe. Right, right that was right. that was for paid time off and and stuff like that for these all these retailers bought into to stimulus two and they paid all of their employees for two weeks or so while their stores were shut down and i've got a list it's it's about five hundred thousand re uh jobs uh being furloughed by retailers so far this week so that hundred billion's gone stimulus three that's that 2.2 trillion that just got passed, right? That has, uh, you know, we're going to pay small businesses and increase unemployment, uh, a lot of graft and bailouts. We talked about, like, the Kennedy Center and all that other crap. This one is stimulus four, and the introductory number here is $2 trillion. And I only bring that up because, remember, the introductory number to stimulus three was $800 billion, and we finished at $2.2 trillion. So, right. so you know, we're starting at two trillion. My guess is stimulus four could could approach four trillion dollars if they put in all the bailouts for every. You know, everyone needs a bailout now. By the way, uh, retailers now in mass are refusing to pay rents uh, in April. Uh, layoff announcements today: Gap, one hundred and twenty nine thousand. Kohl's, one hundred and twenty two thousand. L Brands, which is your Victoria's Secrets, ninety-four thousand. Ann Taylor Lane Bryant, fifty-three thousand. Macy's was a hundred and thirty thousand. So you're starting to get the gist of the. These are now they're not calling them late; they're calling them furloughs. Well, here's the issue: they, if there's too much stimulus, they can't get people back to work. Now, federal government, federal employees are demanding hazardous pay. Now there's a walkout. There's a strike at Whole Foods, Whole Foods today because yep. they want hazardous pay. Why? Because the layoffs you can get as much you can get as much as you, for not working as you can working. And really, why risk it? I mean, really, should you go in there and risk it? And again, all this money that's coming, the trillions of dollars, it's just going to be a matter of time. So I want you to imagine this scenario. Try to look ahead. I've tried to be a man of vision for you on this last day of March. Let's look into April. We're all facing unprecedented times here people no self of uh, no k or sense of self-worth um cabin fever setting in i mean they're going to start violating all these proclamations but um imagine here around easter and then you know the shelves and the lines are already the supply lines are strained because, you know, things have unintended consequences. So the supply lines get strained. You got Easter. Everybody trying to get what they can get. And then boom, boom, trillion dollars hits the street. A trillion, which lands in everybody's boxes, lands in everybody's bank accounts, and they go hog wild. This is going, this is going to create incredible inflation. Do you understand? There's no way around it. Incredible. And you're looking at... Uh, the gold markets, they will react when it's appropriate. When it happens, start to look for, forget $100 days. We see those now, a few of them. But you'll see three to 500 There could be even, they'll probably shut it off. They'll put limits. There could be a $1,000 day when ultimately somebody has to be accountable for all this money 
that is just being created out of thin air. Now, at least I remind you that I have to go back and tell you the definition of hyperinflation, which if you don't believe me, look it up on Wikipedia. Hyperinflation occurs when there is continuing and accelerating rapid increase in the amount of money that is not supported by the corresponding growth in the outputs of goods and services. Now, hyperinflation runs true across the board. It's not just commodities. It's paper assets. I mean, you could see the Dow explode. You could see the price of everything explode as they flood the economy with electronic credits. Now there's another story where they are looking to make a Fed back electronic currency, and they want to do it. Look it up. It's on Market Watch with Bitcoin, of all things. They want Bitcoin to become a Fed Federal Reserve, Article 1, Section 10, out of the Constitution. Well, it doesn't admit the, the Federal Reserve. And actually, they're not allowed to make currency. Only the U.S. Treasury can make legal, lawful tender in this country. So these are all things that you're going to see. So, you know, stay with us here because you haven't seen anything yet. And I'm not saying this in a bad thing. I'm just telling you that this is a natural reaction. And you're allowed to have a semi-lucent thought, try to hypothesize a future for you and your family, and take the appropriate steps, which economically I can help you with. I mean, if you've been in line trying to get a weapon physically, if that's what you're doing, uh, spiritually, if you're unable to attend your churches and your relationship with God has now become a, a, a soul uh, a sole proposition that uh, it is what it is. We got to do what we got to do. But we are all facing an incredibly, incredibly tough 30 days as a country. And you're not in it alone. We're all in it together. So thanks for tuning in. My job is not to scare you or to bring up uh, moot uh, points. I mean, we're addressing the issues. We're trying to hypothesize a future based on common sense, knowledge, tact, poise, and reason. Call one 800 951 0592 you will find that here uh today is my first day after breaking three ribs which i think i broke five but they couldn't stand me up they gave me a shot of morphine never had morphine i got the emergency room bill one shot of morphine man i mean it was horrible but uh 398 dollars <laughs> For, I think about they show save it pri- saving Private Ryan when they all right, you know, right. they did, you know I go, the there's four hundred four hundred four hundred I mean they did forty grand of morphine in the first ten minutes of that movie of back then it was probably four dollars yeah yeah so so I think I broke five though but I'm not going back in to get X-rayed but today's my first day I've been on ibuprofen forever and then they tell you that the ibuprofen and the coronavirus you're not supposed to take it you're not supposed to take Advil. I don't know if it was dispelled. That came out of a French hospital. They're, they're trying to dispel it here, but I switched to Tylenol. It doesn't work today. I'm on nothing. So my kidneys are thanking me, and, uh, you know, I'm in pain. But breaking ribs, man, breaking ribs at 60. And I've had people call me, and we've talked about this, that, you know, they broke their ribs younger when they were younger and took forever. But. I mean, I'm going into really week seven, week Saturday. I still hurt. I can hardly bend over. Can't swing a golf club. But but I'm here. My lungs are good. I did a mile or so on the treadmill this morning. So thank you. All the great wishes. I, I really appreciate it. Now, here we have another situation that if you haven't filed any taxes, your money's not going to show up. So if you're living as a non-registered illegal alien in the country, if you're a man without a country, you're not getting a check, which I don't know what they're going to do about that because half of this city, half of this city is probably not registered. Well, probably 25% of it anyway. I'm safe with that. So I don't know what's going to happen there. Now, also the CDC is asking people, and one thing you'll notice as the uh, the images that come across your computer and television as, the, as this virus ages and progresses that the photos have some people in masks and then it goes on and half the people are in masks and then eventually all the people end up in masks joe was at you were at costco yesterday yep, right i was so. and the amount of masks now it's still a small percentage but it grows every week 
every week you go out and you're seeing more and more people in masks. And, and one of the things, you know, they're obviously they're, they're worried there's not enough masks. We didn't do a very good job. We weren't nearly as prepared as we should have been, obviously. And the mask production is ramping up, and they're trying to tell people, oh, well, you know, if you're healthy, you shouldn't wear the mask and all that. I don't buy that for a second. I mean, obviously – there's a reason why the hospital staff, if the hospital staff's got to wear them, shouldn't we be wearing them? I mean, that just would make sense. But you are definitely seeing a lot more of it. Where are we going to get them? That's the problem. So officials at the Centers for Disease Control, the CDC, are considering changing their guidelines. Now there's a study saying the coronavirus can go not six feet, but 27 feet in a vapor, which I don't know if that's fear-mongering or what. So it was on... Newsmax this morning, and now the CDC. So they're talking about changing the guidelines. They're checking all these, but they want, uh, they're encouraging people to wear masks when they go out in public. Noted there's still no agreement on whether the use of facial coverings would become law or make a major difference in controlling the outbreak at all. So I don't know. You so. know, I just look at what China did, what South Korea did. We're not doing that. Right. We're not doing that. We're not shutting everything down, no, putting everybody man. in one room, tell them to sit down and shut up. We'll be back in a month. So, I don't know. It's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. I don't even have to study for the show because the news changes secondly while we're on the air. We'll be back. This is the Phyllis Schlafly Report, a daily commentary continuing the conservative pro-family legacy of Phyllis Schlafly. Now, here's the president of Phyllis Schlafly Eagles, Ed Martin. If you look at the history of political movements, conservatives have consistently made the same mistake. When far leftists propose a radical idea, our gut reaction is to say, oh, that would never actually happen, or the American people would never get behind that. It's happened over and over again. Phyllis Schlafly received endless mockery in the 1970s when she said the radical feminists are pushing for unisex bathrooms. Now we're fighting supposedly transgender men who want to be in bathrooms and showers with little girls and women. Just a few years ago, people laughed at the idea that America would ever allow same-sex marriage. Now the U.S. Supreme Court has mandated gay marriage throughout the land. Today we find ourselves facing the threat of democratic socialism. Among other policies, these socialists want to destroy the economy by virtually banning fossil fuels. They also want to raise taxes to unimaginable levels in order to fund expensive government programs like Medicare for All, including illegal aliens. Conservatives have two choices. We can either nip this problem in the bud right now, or we can say again, oh, that'll never happen here. But this is no laughing matter. This is an organized and effective movement to destroy American life as we know it. The news media continues to heap praise on prominent Democratic socialists like Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, or AOC. AOC is putting her clout behind Senator Bernie Sanders' bid for president. These radicals have a real path for victory that we shouldn't ignore. Even if they don't take the White House this time, it won't be long until they completely overrun the Democratic Party. Conservatives, we still believe in freedom. We still have the power of truth on our side. However, that alone is not enough if we aren't smart with the resources we have. Phyllis Schlafly Eagles exist to fight against misinformation and educate Americans on the issues we all care about. If you ever want to help in our mission, don't hesitate to reach out to us. And if you're a young person who isn't swayed by the liberals' recent dangerous fads, consider interning with us in the summer. We want to help you turn the tide. This has been the Phyllis Schlafly Report from Phyllis Schlafly Eagles. It's no secret that globalists are bent on destroying Western culture. Whether the threat comes from inside or outside our borders, America must be protected from cultural Marxism and those who would deny American sovereignty. We're seeking your insight at phyllisschlafly.com. That's phyllisschlafly.com. And join us again for the Phyllis Schlafly Report. You're listening to the Patriot Radio News Hour. How's everybody out there? Are you guys all happy? You doing the Macarena and uh, to the bridge to the 21st century here? <laughs> it's been crazy, Ed. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. So the new stimulus that they're creating now, they're talking about, is a TARP stimulus. 
And um, it's the same thing that they they did in 08. Don't don't kid yourself. It's a business stimulus. I mean, you can't tell me that here in a month that all the people, everybody's waiting for the government to save them. We're all waiting. Oh, the government's going to give me checks, so my landlord isn't getting anything. I'm calling my mortgage company. I'm not paying them. I'm not paying my insurance companies. And, I mean, everything is so critical. I mean, in 08, you couldn't, you know, if you had an annuity, you weren't going to get a penny. And pick a company. Pick an insurance company. I mean, the first six companies that got the TARP money were uh, Allstate, you know, the big Ameriprise, Hartford. Are they even around? I haven't seen them. At, you don't see the Hartford anymore advertising on golf tournaments after that deal. Uh, Lincoln National, Prudential, all these, they had no money for their annuities. They had none. So everything is happening again. Well, they'll collect the premiums from you if you're still going to pay. But this is all going to be this huge pandemic, this financial pandemic that has now been stuffed into this little time capsule, this little time thing. So you're at the at the point where, you know, who knows what the ramifications are. We don't know where it's going to be, but I can tell you one thing for a fact. And I've learned this, that you can't just print money and throw it into society and everybody gets a check. So, again, let's just look ahead around Easter. Joe brought this up during the break or somewhere around there that all these checks start showing up. And the same thing's going to happen again. They're all going to end up at Walmart. They're not traveling anywhere, so right. the Arabs aren't going to get it this time. You're seeing so. the stores get a little better in stock here. At least I have anyway, a little by little. I'm going to say this, though. Come the third week of April, you're going to see another huge blowout uh, as these checks arrive for these people uh, that haven't been working, uh, got, can't pay the rent, don't have money to buy food, all that other stuff. So you're going to see another wave again. I think right as, you know, and, and I think President Trump was very optimistic with the peak of Easter. I actually think the peak's probably uh, a week or two after Easter. Uh, but but neither here nor there. I think you're going to see another wave when these checks hit uh, at the Walmarts and the Costcos and all that. Again, another another replay. And the thing is, the fearometer is going to be even higher because it's going to be hitting Right as the peak is hitting. Yeah, it could be crazy. You so, know what I'm saying? So we're in for a crazy month. So, you know. A- April's been, you know, you, someone had the headline, April's been canceled. Just canceled. Uh, it's, it's canceled. It's crazy, though. Here, you know, we've had, uh, well, we had a little line yesterday out the door. So, um, but no no panics yet. Every, the, no. Getting a hold of Wall Street has really calmed things down. Premiums are, you know, high. I mean, because the market's very active, very busy. I mean, in 08, we had senators in here attorneys we had celebrities in here and now we have all the working hard working people that are smart enough guy just said something to me in, in the trades he goes i'm in a lot better shape now in 08 i'm a lot smarter than i used to be people have savings put away you know so hopefully we're going to be able to get through this and we'll get through it but what the economic ramifications are and what this ushers in what it ushers in we can only imagine the effects of all of this socialism i mean everybody wants it everybody wants more money now if you're gonna hand out money here's one the a federal employee union a federal employee union yes a they shouldn't be unionized b i mean really they're suing the government for hazard pay so which we talked about earlier proposed class act Class action filed last Friday. U.S. Court of Federal Claims, the American Federation of Government Employees, asked for a 25% pay raise for all federal employees' hazardous duty pay across the board. Why? Because they're handing out money. Wow. You so, bring up some point. I didn't even think about it. A lot of the play people like Amazon, uh, they've had to increase pay. Walmart's had to increase pay. The places that are busy, the pays had to go up. How do you take that pay back? I don't, you can't. Other, right? That's it. We're going to see runaway inflation. Could be the final blow for the dollar. Or, you know, I, hyperinflation, who the heck knows? Who knows? A lot of people speculating. Electronic that, that currency flying everywhere. Yep. And China is going to step to the forefront. And they do a better job of control. Whether we, you know, I don't believe any of China's numbers for a second. Uh, but right now, China's controlling the media. Hey, we don't have cases. We fixed it. The United States didn't fix it, right? We, you can trust us. You can't trust them. Uh, the dollar shortages, 
that have wrangled the world today. The central bank had to issue another uh, thing to help all of these countries because all of this debt in dollars and not having access to dollars is causing a lot of the rest of the world. They're not happy right now. They're not happy with the United States. The central bank today, this is the second action now that they've done. They are now openly going to give other central banks U.S. Treasury, so they can have access to dollars, if you can believe that. And this is the tide, as Eric was talking about, when all of the when all of this is over, you know, and, and Corona coronavirus isn't talked about anymore, and we've got to deal with the aftermath of what happened here. One of the things that I think is absolutely going to happen is the rest of the world's going to say, you know what, we had way too much reliance on the dollar, and it cost us dearly. And, and I think you're going to see uh, uh, the increase, the spread, if you will, of them finding alternative sources to U.S. dollars. I just think that's what it's going to be, especially when they start looking at the debt. Look at the Fed's balance sheet. Look at the federal debt. They're like, okay, you're just a, another banana republic like everybody else out there. All the gold that's been moving around the world as well for the last three or four years, countries wanting their gold back, it's created a, a physical shortage for for the exchanges that trade on the COMEX 100-ounce bars and just about everything. The market's just as tight as it can be. Modern issue material, you know, what was a guy on TV selling an MS-70 Silver Eagle? A customer sent you a thing. A customer thing. sent me a text. A sil- one Silver Eagle, MS-70. Now, listen, modern issue, let me go over this one more time for you. Modern issue certified coins have ruined the coin market. These guys are scumbags du jour. So... Like you ever, they started making silver eagles in 1986. Okay, go back. Reagan did it. Right. Reagan's president. Okay, there were no silver eagles, okay, in cash registers ever. Ever. I never got one in change. Did you ever see them? Never. No, because silver's never been below a dollar since 1986. Below a dollar, you'd spend them. You know, 50 cent silver, well, it's still worth a buck. They go into circulation. Okay. Well, so they try to sell them as uncirculated. They're all uncirculated. <laughs> they have never were circulated. Gold eagles, same thing. All that mint state or you know condition of strike doesn't matter. Pre-33 gold was money. I was laughing with Cliff in the back here the other day. He's like, well, what do you mean? I go, well, imagine I buy a car from you in 1923. I buy an old Chevy from you, 1923 business coupe. For 22 bucks. <laughs> so I reach in my pocket. I give you two $10 gold pieces and some silver dollars. <laughs> That's how business was done because of the money. They were circulating. So just to, for your edification, I'll throw that in. Patriot Radio News Hour. The blind leads the stupid. It's crazy. Crazy we live in. We'll be back after these messages. Patriot Radio News Hour, allamericangold.com, 1010KXXT here in Phoenix. Family Values Radio, simulcast 1360, khnc.com. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, It's crazy, crazy. I keep saying that. I don't know any other way to say it. Walmart's going to begin taking temperatures of its employees before they let them start shifts. Now they're talking about, imagine this, Corona. Should that have been happening? Yeah, probably. Well, you should do it yourself, shouldn't you? Right? If you're not feeling good. So they now they have coronavirus sniffing dogs. Really? Just conjures, you know, conjures Nazi stops, yeah. you know. Drugs, you're looking for drugs? No. No. Nine. <laughs> coronavirus. Will that happen? I mean, is there gonna be mandatory mandatory if they get it if they get a uh you know, inoculation for it? I don't know. Could it could there be? Who knows? Interesting, the White House is not using the VA for any of this coronavirus. I mean, in general, you'd think the VA was, uh, you know, where the older vets would be. Listen, and, uh, I, I think that's a good call. Trump hates them. Yeah, we, look at what they've done. You know, they, they've destroyed the VA. They, the VA is a cesspool, and Trump's trying to help, and, and I, I just don't think they need that right now. You know? And you think about a lot of the vets, they're older, right? Uh, you coronavirus could be devastating to them i'm just reading reading this headline cbs news uh was busted using an overwhelmed an italian hospital 
So they had footage of this hospital in Italy being overwhelmed, yet talking about hospitals in New York to try to scare people about, you know, trying to make this thing even worse. I mean, what happened, right? If we want to stop this enough talking, you do something like that, right? Throw them off the air. Get get the executive fired. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is how, you know, you, you think about, hey, are there going to be riots? Is there going to be this? Is there going to be that? That's what, when you do stuff like this, that's what that happens. That's what happens when, when you allow an agent. This is CBS. You know, you're sitting there and you're thinking about all these news medias out here. I think this is why we're so popular. At least we, we deal in facts here. You know what I'm saying? It's it's incredible. I don't know. Yeah, the the, the and I've had we've taken a bunch of calls this week and last week that the hospitals are not overrun where they're at. And they're not. They're not overrun here. I mean, again, I I brought it up. We've got a huge, huge retirement community, maybe one of the biggest Sun City out here and you know, Let's hope it doesn't hit. I hope it doesn't hit. As I said, for the polit- it's no win for us. For the politicians, it's win-win. See, we shut everything down. We saved everybody's lives. Or it gets bad, and they go, well, it was going to be worse. We saved everybody's lives. President said, and I put a lot of stock in this president, president said that we're going to peak here in the middle of April. So, And that's what Fauci is saying. So is it going to get bad? I don't know. I mean, it's, it could. I mean, am I nervous? Sure, I'm nervous. Are you nervous? Everybody's nervous. But the show must go on. Well, I'm, I'm here just for reading you another article here uh, about p- doctors and, and surgery centers in other parts of the country now saying that they may need bailouts because all the elective surgeries have been put on hold. And no, I mean, right right now, if you don't need to go to the hospital, even if you're in Arizona, right, you don't go if you don't need to. And, and they're saying, hey, uh, all of these practices now, these doctors, they employ, you know, a lot of these places, they employ 40, 50, 100 people in these surgical centers and, and places like that. And they're saying, hey, nobody's coming. Everybody's putting off their their surgeries and they want to wait for all this to be over and and we're going to have to shut down across the country. They're waiting for the huge rush. Let's hope it doesn't happen. Let's hope it doesn't happen. So, not sure what to do. How many times have I heard that since I unretired a week and a half ago? I don't know what to do. I'm not sure. What should my parents do? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Here, I'm going to help you. We can put we put together a not sure package. This is right out of idiocracy and it's something it's just for a large package i mean if you're looking for a place to park some money and you just want to keep it here give it a year let's just take a look eventually the debt and deficit numbers now nobody has to report some gao accountant government accounting office accountant will watch what the federal reserve is doing but in general it's a yawner they already know there's trillions pumped into society and then the rest is a show for nancy pelosi the republicans the democrats and the great stimulus packages that go out but this is going to be minimum a 10 trillion dollar issue minimum so if you're not sure what to do i'm going to help you become sure here's a package that has 70 gold pieces and 500 silver dollars not the junky silver dollars, not the, the beautiful, beautiful Morgan dollars from the late 1800s. We had, I ran a special on them. We had a customer buy a bag, and then we had another, we found another bag, and we had a customer insurance agent in Loveland, and then he canceled last night. So we have the bag back. So, and it's gone up. Premiums That's are rising on everything. Right. <laughs> so you can get 10 U.S. $20 gold pieces, 20 $10 gold pieces, 40 $5 gold pieces. So you get 70 gold pieces, then I'm going to split that bag, so at least two people can get in on this, and 500 U.S. legal lawful tender, brilliant uncirculated to absolute stunning, shining cartwheels, they call them. You hold the silver dollar up, and you move it, it does a cartwheel like a, like a Ferris wheel. It's just stunningly beautiful, just beautiful old 1800s, early 1900s material. They sell, you know, MS-70 Silver Eagles for $230 each. Well, go back 100 years and get the same quality for 35 bucks. I'm going to split the bag, 500 of them. So 500 silver pieces, 70 gold pieces, $82,550, and we'll throw in the shipping. So if you're not sure what to do, just call park up, your yeah. money. 
Get the not sure not package. Not sure package. We'll send it up to you. It'll take a while. You'll get it in a, in seven to ten working days or so. And then put it away. And so, don't put it in a safety deposit box. Don't right, do don't it. Don't do that. People are trying to get in theirs out here. California. We've had every horror story. I've been telling you people for a quarter century. Find another place to put it. You're tapping on the glass right now. There's people going, can I get in? Just one minute. I want to get it in my box. All their gold and silver's in there. Nope. Will they open again? Oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. Will they go through the safety deposit boxes if they confiscate gold? Make a new super currency? Maybe. Picker Radio News Hour. Fun and frolic. You're listening to the Patriot Radio News Hour final segment on this Tuesday. More news than your yellow lab can shake a stick at. You just can't even keep up. I mean, I've never seen the news wires like this. The markets have calmed down. I don't know. The Dow's down a couple hundred. The commodity markets, the trades are about a third what they were a week ago. Everybody's calming down. We have to get through this. But ultimately, the law, the economic laws of supply and demand haven't changed. So there's only X amount of finite supply of legal, lawful, constitutional, non-confiscatable tender that we're chasing, and now there seems to be an unlimited supply of money that's going to be going after it. I'm just connecting the dots for you, ladies and Germans. So we got the not sure package, 70 U.S. private gold pieces and 500 silver dollars for 82,550. If that's a little rich for your paper route money, I know the stuff's getting expensive, but... Uh, you can get, I'll tell you what we're going to do here. You get two U.S. $5 gold pieces, and we still have here in Phoenix some Canadian maple leaf silver, which is 4 9 fine. I bought them yesterday. Got, They're here. We have some left. We have 15 of these packages, so you can get two U.S. gold pieces, $5 Liberty gold pieces, and a, a treasury roll of Canadian 4 9 fine Canadian dollars. So yes, Canadian silver dollars. They're four nine fine, worth three nine fine. They're gorgeous. Twenty five in a roll with the Canadian. Right. So sixteen hundred and sixty five bucks. We're throwing in the shipping on everything. Everything shipping. So from now on, we're just going to eat that. Sixteen sixty five. It's the take off you hoser package. A a and uh, <laughs> you can get a little. You people up in the northwest listening, you know, you may have to sneak over the border and get out of here. Mexico is now thanking the president for putting the wall up. So Americans can't come back. I'm not kidding you. The border's closed. They are screening the people that are going through the, the borders now heading south. They don't want Americans. Don't even think about crossing the, the Mexican border with a New York license plate. Yeah. That ain't going to happen. They're not going to let you and out. Then don't even think about sneaking into Texas with a Louisiana license plate right now. It's just nuts, isn't it? So Crazy. Uh, here's another headline just hitting J.C. Penney's. Now add them to the list. 90,000 workers. So uh, I don't know what the jobless claims numbers are going to be uh, Thursday. My guess is another two, three, four million Thursday. Looks like now all of these announced from these retailers, that's all going to be like the next week. I so. want to see Fed backed 0.9 mortgage rates. 0.9. Okay, and it'll just trigger massive craziness because we got zero interest rates. That's where probably it should be. So I don't know. Where's the 30 year? I don't know. One. One Haven't three. Seen, I can tell you. Okay, where, one point nine. How's that? Yeah, there you go. The ten years at six six six. The ten year what? Note. The ten year note. Point six point six 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 six. six. It's the Antichrist. <laughs> Don't buy the debt. So the ten years at point six. Thirty year. If it's if it gets below one, they break the bank. They go zero oh, point nine mortgage. It'll just trigger real estate inflation, car inflation, stock inflation, gold inflation. It'll be everywhere. Money's everywhere. There'll be huge ticker tape parades. Happy days are here again. Trump will be going down New York City. You know, some companies invented the antivirus for COVID, the Chinese-originated virus number 19. And we're all going to do the, you know, everybody's just going to be so happy to be alive. Let's, we can only hope. Of course, they'll be making $38 an hour will be the new minimum wage at McDonald's. And there'll be union be jobs. Kidding. There'll be union jobs. All fast food jobs will be union jobs within 36 months. You can say you heard it here. Everywhere. Sea to shining sea. The Teamsters will organize the cooks. We got the Take Off You Hoser package at 1665 Canadian and American. And then the Not Sure package for 
you people that don't, don't know where to park your money for a year or so, we can help you. Give us a call. 1-800-951-0592. God bless. We're out of here. See you tomorrow. Bye now.